Hi guys, Odin Hill here with EZ Grade Pro 4.1 Tutorials. This lesson covers assignments. Let's take a look at the objectives. In this lesson, we'll discuss creating categories, using category weighting, grade scale options and special scores, setting max score and point values, entering grades, assignment analytics, curving assignments, as well as sorting assignments. So let's get started. The first thing we want to look up is setting up categories. You'll find this under the edit menu and class options. Once the category tab comes up you can see the categories default as such. You can add your own categories here, science fair or any other category you like. If you use the default category weighting, it assigns a 25% weight to each of the four categories. You would have to adjust this on your own if you wanted to include more categories. Over here you'll also see grade scale options under each category. You can use student scale, a standard scale, an outstanding satisfactory unsatisfactory scale, or a credit no credit kind of scheme. Also in each category you have the option to drop or assign the category as extra credit. This allows you to drop up to four scores so that these scores don't affect the students overall grade. The next item we want to discuss is actually adding assignments. To do this, simply click the Add Assignment button here. Let's say we want to add a Chapter 3 homework assignment. I can assign the max score. Per, for instance, let's say there's 10 questions in this homework assignment. And I want to assign the total value for the homework assignment to be 20 points. So this lets me grade on a regular scale and not have to worry about any factoring of two there. Next I can choose to put it under the homework category. I'm going to go ahead and give it normal credit status. There are other options here. You can see extra credit can be dropped not for grade or negative points. I'm going to display the raw scores and I'm going to head and include this in the progress report. You have the option not to. And I'm not going to tie any standards to this and often I use this down here to specify what problems were actually in the assignment that way I don't have to put them up in the name here. Once you have the assignment in you have a few ways of entering scores into the assignment. One of the main ways I like to do this is using the grade click bar. You'll find that in a drop down menu over here. Now you can see along this toolbar you have the option to click on grades so once you highlight the field for the grade, then you can go ahead and start entering grades into those fields. The default setting will have it drop down to the next level, but you can change that as well. The final way you can enter grades is on the seating charts themselves. The way this is done is to select the seating chart tab. You can go ahead and type grades directly into the fields but be sure down here that you've chosen the correct assignment. This is discussed in another tutorial. Once the field's highlighted, you can go ahead and either type a letter grade or you can go ahead and type a score. Either works. The next thing we want to discuss is assignment analytics and how to analyze grades. So let's go back to the score tab there. You can see here in the mini summary, we have the overall class scores. I'm going to go ahead and change that to assignment graph. And when you choose different assignments that will allow you to analyze the scores, you can see here it's in a bar chart with the grade frequency distribution laid out and the averages up here. Another way you can look at the assignment is in a little bigger graph. Go ahead and just click at the top of the assignment there and this pops up. This page will allow you to analyze the assignment grades much more closely. Here we've chosen our made up assignment chapter 3 and you can see the grade distribution. 
by clicking on any of these frequency bars you can actually see the students that comprise that bar. Down below you'll see the curve panel. This allows you to curve the assignment. I've chosen the curve example assignment. To actually curve the assignment and get this distribution here a little more in the C range, simply click on options and now you have the ability to shift the curve to the right or to the left. I'm going to go ahead and shift it to the left and get my mode here in the C range. If I want to go ahead and lock that in, I have to click curve now and this warning does appear. It's not something that you can undo. All set, assignment is curved. The last feature I want to discuss is sorting assignments. Let's get out of this tab and go back to scores. If we'd like, we could sort assignments in a number of ways. To do that, you go view, sort assignments, and we have multiple options by date, category, name, or reverse date. Well, that concludes our assignments tutorial. Let's review the objectives that we covered. We discussed creating categories using category weighting, grade scale options, setting max scores versus point values. We discussed three ways to enter grades, we looked at different assignment analytics, showed you how to curve assignments, and the multiple ways in which we can sort assignments. Hope the tutorial was helpful and be sure to provide feedback.